consumers and market demand for agricultural products. It is the consumers that creates demand for agricultural products. And as far as consumer demand is concerned, it is willingness and ability to buy against different prices. To elaborate the concept of the consumer demand, we used a table that depicts the price, relationship between prices and quantities. And we also use a graph to describe the relationship between price and quantities. And that graph indicate a negative association between price and quantity. And in some mathematical form, some equation are also used to describe the demand, consumers demand for some commodities. As far as demand curve is concerned, it is a negatively sloped curve. If price increases, quantity demand will decrease and there is a negative association between price and quantity demand and this negative association, this inverse association between price and quantity is called as law of demand. And law of demand can be explained in terms of substitution effect and income effect of a price change. And to understand the concept of substitution effect and income effect, one should have understanding about the consumer behavior. When we say consumer behavior, to describe the consumer behavior, we use the concept of indifference curve, budget constraint, and consumer's choice. Indifference curve shows different combinations of two commodities that gave same level of satisfaction to a particular consumer. And an indifference map is a set of indifference curves. A higher indifference curve indicate a higher level of satisfaction. And the constraint that consumer faces is in the form of budget line. And the point where an indifference curve becomes tangent to a budget line, it basically indicates that particular, particular combination of commodities where consumer is getting maximum satisfaction under his limited income. So by using the con by using indifference curve and budget constraint, we can describe the consumer's choice. In this diagram, we start by making an assumption a consumer is using only two commodities. Food, and all other commodities that a consumer is using, we keep them under the other category of commodities. So consumer is allocating all of his income on the purchase of food and other set of commodities. And under given income constraint, this downward sloping line, BL1, denotes different combination of two commodities that a consumer can purchase. Against BL1, IC1 is an indifference curve that is tangent with BL1. And consumer, by choosing F1 quantity of food, can maximize his satisfaction under given budget constraint. Now, if we assume there is decrease in price of food, while price of other commodities remain constant, there is no change in income of the household, then budget line pivots from BL1 to BL2. Against budget line BL2, there is another indifference curve IC2 that is tangent with BL2. So under new market conditions, when price of food decreases, while price of other commodities remain constant, and income of, house, income of consumer also remain constant, then by using F2 quantity of food, consumer can maximize his satisfaction. And this movement from F1 to F2 is called as price effect. Okay, there is change in quantity of food that is being consumed by a particular consumer because of change in price of food. But this change in quantity of food can be divided into two components. One is called a substitution effect and other one is called as 
income effect to find out substitution effect we have to draw a budget line that is parallel to bl2 budget line but tangent with original ic1 in difference curve and against this tangency we can found we can find consumer is using fs quantity of food and this movement from f1 to fs is called as substitution effect okay to sustain his level of satisfaction consumer substituted other commodity with with the quantity of food when price of food decreases while the movement from fs to f2 is called as income effect okay when price of food decreases in fact real purchasing power of purchasing power of the consumer increases and because of that increase in real purchasing power of the consumer consumer started use more quantity of food so price effect can be divided into two component one is substitution effect and other one is income effect and in this particular case food acts as a normal commodity okay, when there is increase in real income of the consumer there is increase in consumption of food when price of food decreases real income of the household increases and because of that increase in real income of the household consumption of normal good will increase so food in this case acts as a normal good and similarly to explain if we consider food is an inferior commodity then again so on the same pattern against bl1 consumer can maximize his satisfaction along ic1 and difference curve now if price of food decreases because of that decrease in price of food budget line pivots from bl1 to bl2 against budget line bl2 there is another indifference curve ic2 that is tangent with budget line so the movement from f1 quantity of food to f2 quantity of food is called as price effect again this change in the consumption of food is observed because of change in price of food and change in price of food in this case is decrease in price of food and again to find out substitution effect we have to draw another budget line that is parallel to bl2 but tangent with ic1 so against this point of tangency we can find out the quantity of food that the consumer will use and we are denoting that quantity of food with fs so the movement from f1 to fs is because of substitution effect while the movement from fs to f2 is income effect now in this case we can observe substitution effect and income effect are in opposite direction okay when price of food decreases real income of the household increases but because of increase in real income of the household consumer decided to decrease the consumption of food items and we are indicating that decrease in food consumption of food items by moving from fs to f2 and this decrease in consumption of food indicate that food is an inferior commodity a change in price of food in fact has effects on the consumption of not only food but also on the consumption of other commodities so when uh, when there is a decrease in price of any product it means there is increase in real income of the household when we say there is increase in real income of the household then it indicate consumer has more purchasing power so by using the same amount of resources he is in a position to purchase more generally whenever we make discussion income effects are positive that is in an increase in income leads to 
increase in consumption of a commodity. And when this type of the phenomena is observed, then we say commodity under consideration is a normal commodity. So, when we say price effect, this price effect is in fact has two components. One is substitution effect and other one is income effect. As far as substitution effect is concerned, it is always negative. If price of a commodity increases, there is decrease in consumption of commodity. And if price of commodity decreases, then there is increase in consumption of commodity. Under substitution effect, this association is always negative. And this relationship holds for all type of the commodity, whether the commodity is a normal commodity or commodity is, a, is an inferior commodity. But when we make discussion with reference to income effect, that income effect, income effect depends upon the nature of the commodity. If commodity under consideration is a normal good, then it relates negatively with change in price. If price of a commodity decreases because of that decrease in the price of commodity, there is increase in real income of the household. And because of increase in, in increase in, in real income of the household, there is increase in demand for commodity. So there is positive association between real income and quantity demand for the commodity. But when we make this discussion with reference to inferior goods or given good, in that case, relationship as far as income effect is concerned for inferior or given goods, it relates positively with change in price. If price of a commodity increases, real income of household decreases, but quantity demand will increase. In this diagram, we are reporting the relationship between quantity demand for food and price under different situations. If we assume food is a normal commodity, then the movement will be along orange colored demand curve. Because of decrease in price from P1 to P2, increase in quantity demand for food is Fn. But if we consider food is an inferior commodity, Again, there is a negative association between price and quantity demand. But increase in quantity demand is relatively less than the increase in quantity demand when food is a normal commodity. But if we consider food is a given good, then because of decrease in price of commodity from P1 to P2, there is a decrease in demand for food. And this movement from F0 to Fg indicates food is a given commodity. When commodity under consideration is a given commodity, then usually it is a staple commodity. It is a commodity that constitutes a large portion of consumers' expenditures and has a low price. And in that case, if we consider wheat is a staple commodity. So when there is an increase in price of wheat, because of that increase in price of wheat, there is significant decrease in real income of the household. And because of that significant decrease in real income of the household, consumer abhi is position mein nahi hoga ke wo kuch dusri cheezen bhi purchase kar sake as a food item. So he has to increase his consumption of wheat as a food item. So in this case, because of increase in price of wheat, he has to increase his consumption of wheat items. And in this case, income effect and substitution effect moves in opposite direction. But income effect is much stronger than substitution effect. So, because of increase in price, 
of wheat there is increase in demand for wheat because of non usage of other commodities that are being used by that particular consumer so on the basis of all of this discussion we can see that demand is basically determined on the basis of substitution effect and price effect the demand is called as ordinary and marshallian demand if it is determined under price effect and demand is called as hicksian or compensated demand if it is determined on the basis of substitution effect to make a clarification about hicksian and marshallian demand again we are using the concept of indifference curve and the budget line as you are very much familiar the price effect is movement from f1 to f2 so the movement given price of food decreases from p1 to p2 there is increase in demand of food items from f1 to f2 this movement this increase in demand for food from f1 to f2 because of decrease in price of food is called as marshallian demand curve and when we say compensated or hicksian demand curve it is in this case consumers expenditures are minimized to minimize subject to a fixed level of utility so the movement when price of food decreases the movement from f1 to fs indicate demand of food items under hicksian hicksian demand so under hicksian demand change in quantity demand is relatively less than change under marshallian demand 